those of us who live in lower elevations and we encounter ticks all the time, you know, we often go and travel into higher elevations for vacation. In fact, I often do. We, you know, we go into the mountains. And you think, well, I don't have to protect my dog from ticks. Well, you know, in fact, you do. Because Dermis interandersoni, the Rocky Mountain wood tick, actually starts occurring at around 1,000 feet in elevation and rises way above 5,000 feet or greater above sea level. And that's where this tick is often encountered. And in fact, this tick is active in the summer at those higher elevations. When a lot of other ticks sometimes, you know, can kind of go dormant during the heat of the summer, well, it's not that, that hot when you get above 5,000 feet in elevation. And this tick remains active May, June, July, and August. And our dogs often encounter this tick in those high elevations while you're traveling and hiking in some of our great national parks in the Rocky Mountains and Sierra Nevadas. You have to think about when you're going and traveling to an area, well, what parasites might I encounter there? What parasites must I protect my pet from? Well, the only way to really know that is talk to your local veterinarian and tell them I'm gonna be going to a certain location, taking my pet there, you know, as we were talking about, you know, the Rocky Mountain wood tick. Just because I'm going to an area like that, you know, that's in the Rocky Mountains or the higher elevations, I might still encounter that tick. And in fact, I will tell you, last year, um, I took my in-laws on a trip up to Wyoming and also to Western North Dakota, um, particularly the Roosevelt National Park. We actually encountered Dermis Center Andersoni on our hikes in Wyoming and in the Roosevelt National Park in Western North Dakota. And you wouldn't have thought this was going to occur. This is one of the reasons why I so believe that we should not be buying tick products from the big box stores, the over-the-counter type of tick products. Because yeah, the client might go there and buy that product, but certainly that dog is not gonna be tested for these devastating tick transmitted diseases. Yes, some of them are acutely ill, but some of these animals have chronic lifelong disease, and the owner may not recognize that this animal that's slowing down and not doing as well, maybe it's because it's got a disease and needs to be tested for it.